we want to say thank you. Your word declares that in everything, give thanks. We want to thank you, Lord, for today above all days in the name of Jesus. Thank you that all of us are here and we're in our right minds and we can breathe without any issues. We give you the praise. We give you the thanks. Lord, we thank you. Lord, if we've done anything that wasn't pleasing to you, even in our thoughts, Lord, forgive us. And Lord, don't let us commit any type of sin ever again in the name of Jesus. God, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your goodness and mercy. Thank you for our loved ones, all of our young loved ones that are here right now. Thank you for allowing them to be our future leaders. Lord, bless us to instill in them your word. Lord, and our ultimate prayer is let all of us be rapture ready. Let us have eternal life with you, Lord Jesus. God, we give you all the glory. God, we give you all the praise. And we want to thank you for rising today. Thank you for the blessings that you bestowed upon us. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. And before we get started, we always like to have a scripture, and um, we're going to have, the youth are going to, you know, be doing things, but we'd like to have a scripture uh, from our own Deacon Carlos Antonio Abram. Thank you. Praise the Lord, um, beautiful people. We're so blessed to have you here today um, to participate in this Resurrection Sunday um, uh, uh, worship service. Thank you for coming. My wife worked real hard to get this done right. She survived, bond, um, Trey. Trey's not here today, but he, he helped out to... Uh, I want to thank you for that. The scripture this morning will be a familiar passage of scripture from um, Psalm, Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, that shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With a long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. I read the entire Psalm 191. I pray that it is a blessing to all the hearers of the Lord's magnificent word. Y'all look beautiful today. We would like to thank uh, 
Elder Kobe Allen Abram uh, for blessing us. He's the pastor of this church and uh, we're about to get ready to get started and um, I would just like him to come up and just uh, let everyone know how glad he is that you all are here in the name of Jesus and please don't let this be your one time. Come back in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's give a lot of hand praise here. Amen. Praise God. Thank God so much. Hallelujah that he's allowed our young people. Praise the Lord. Give the young people a hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Children are such, hallelujah, an olive plant around the tables of many families. And when God bless you with children, he's giving you gifts, gifts that he wants you to raise up in admonition of the Holy Spirit. And it's so, praise the Lord, they can train that, hallelujah, thought to have an area to where they have power, power to be able to walk this journey in the hallelujah character that God has given them through the family. So let's give the families a hand of me, the women and the men of God a hand. Showing your kids how to pray, showing your kids how to hallelujah conduct themselves, even hallelujah in a hostile environment. We've been challenged in our societies, praise the name of God in every area of our children's lives. And just want to give Michelle Abram a hand clap of praise and her staff at that daycare. God is great. And certainly we do honor the Lord Jesus Christ and we thank God for uh, him. We want him to be lifted high. We want him to be magnified and glorified. I honor the praise of God, all of the families in the name of Jesus Christ. So just want to sing a song. I don't think Michelle is quite ready, but I want to give you guys the entire uh, setting. Is that all right? But we'll just, I guess, anybody know how to have church? Come on, clap your hands. Hallelujah. It's all right. <laughs> I believe we all know how to have church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice, and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will enter into his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter into his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad, he has made me glad, I will rejoice for he has made me glad. There's a storm out over the ocean, and it's moving this old way. If your soul is not angry in Jesus, you will surely drift away. There's a storm out. Over the ocean, and it's moving this way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away, drift away, Lord, drift away. You will surely drift away. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus. Yes, you will surely get away, glory, glory. Yes, since I lay my burden down, glory, glory. Hallelujah, 
since I lay my burden down. Please don't treat me like they used to since I lay my burdens down. Please don't treat me like they used to since I lay my burdens down. Burdens down, Lord. Yes. Oh, since I lay
Y'all bear with us. We had to make some rearrangements. But God is so good. And I'm so proud. And Thank y'all for y'all patience. Keep on here, right? Just stay with us. They gave us every 
jelly bean color and what it was meant <laughs> for in a godly manner. Amen. And um, next we're going to have our Easter speech. Can you give a clap while they come up for Easter speech? <laughs> I mean, eating, journey first, journey justice, Amara, Kalea, Okay, like I said, we had to make some adjustments. Is Jada here? Is Sister Tange in the house? <laughs> Not yet. Okay, well, I'm going to be A. You, you are A. You are A. <laughs> you, you A all day. <laughs> amen, amen. God is good. It's okay to have to step in while our children need to speak to speak for them sometimes. Amen. This is what it's all about. This is where the correction is made in the house of the Lord. Not on the streets, not in the middle of chaos, right here in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. E. e. <laughs> I have loved you with an everlasting love. Amen. Amen.
Claro, bien, escucha. ¿Ya ready? God's promise promises says what, Riley? You have purpose. God's promise says what, Daquan? You have gifts. Amen. Amen. God's promise says you have purpose. Amen. You have purpose. God's promise says you are forgiven. Amen. <laughs> God's promise says what, Cash? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. God's promise says. Yeah. Free. You are free. Amen. God's promise says. You are blessed. Yeah. Amen. 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 That was so great. We gotta always remember what God's promises said. They're actually working for us right now. Amen. We Amen. can just think of what God is about to do for us. We have one more scripture right now, and then we gonna got a, a praise dance for you. Come on, guys.
Y'all ready? Is Easter about candy? No! Is it about an egg? No! I know it's about a bunny rabbit. No! No? What is Easter about? Jesus! Jesus. It's about Jesus. Can y'all hear that? What is it about? Jesus! Okay, what happened to Jesus? He died. He died. What did, what did they do to him? What did they do? Did they whip him? Yeah. They whipped him? Yeah. After they whipped him, what did they put on his head? A crown of thorns. A crown of thorns. What did they do to his hand? They nailed it. To what? What did they nail it to? A to a cross. They nailed both hands or one hand? Both hands. They nailed both hands. They nailed his hands. And his feet. What did they do to his side? Yeah. When they pierced him in the side, what came out? The blood came out. What did they do to his feet? They never never took a cross. Why did they do this? Because they were mean people, huh? What where did this happen at? In Calvary. Can y'all hear my friend? In Calvary. Come on, somebody now. In Calvary. So when he hung his head, what did he say before he died? He said, forgive them, why? For they know not what they do. Y'all talk it up now. Come on now. This Easter Sunday, it's not about candy. Come on now. Hallelujah. Where did they, where did they take Jesus' body? To a bar of tomb. How long was Jesus dead? After the third day, what happened? He rose from the dead. And where, where did Jesus live? And where else? In our hearts. In our hearts. Up and 
And he goes on to say, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil day. Women of God, you have been walking in your destiny, which is called victory, for a long time. Praise the Lord. You have done a phenomenal job. Even though you didn't get proper training, even though you may not have had, praise the Lord, the book on how to be a mother, but you've been trained from all the big mamas and the mothers and the women who have come before you. Your predecessors have left you such a lasting legacy. And I want to say thank you for deciding to have the assignment of being a mother. A mother is a difficult task. It is one that you cannot give up on. It is 24-7, 365. It is never ending. Even after the child reaches the age of adulthood, from infancy to adolescence to adulthood, you have proven that you are the women of victory. I want to say this to you because I want you to know that these challenges that we will go through and that we will face, God has equipped you for the journey. He's built you to go through this particular area of life. It is tough. It does get rough. There are no easy areas, easy avenues that you're going to go down. But the only way that you're going to be able to see God is in the storm. Oh, I thank God for this type of message. Because when you, hallelujah, are in a situation where it becomes your extremity, that's God's opportunity. He's going to show you that I'm going to bring you out even though I brought you to it. I'm going to take you through it. Is that all right? Anybody ever been in a challenge? Anybody ever been in a storm? Anybody ever been in a position to where it just didn't feel right? It didn't look right? It didn't seem like God was nowhere in the midst, but somehow, some way, praise the name of God. If it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, where would you be today? If God didn't step in, hallelujah, in the midst, hallelujah, of the storm, he's there. He's in a position to where he said, yeah, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. In the book of Daniel, chapter 3, verses 16 through 18, the Bible say that they say, we're not careful to answer you, O King Nebuchadnezzar. He said, but praise the name of God, hallelujah. If our God deliver us from this first, praise the name of God, we're not going to serve your gods. But this is what I like that they said in verse 18. But if our God don't deliver us, this is where the power come in, praise the Lord. If I don't get my child support on time, if I don't get my assistance that I need, if my baby daddy just acting like he don't understand this is his child, even if they don't do what they're supposed to do, we still not going to serve any God that's other than the God of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Can anybody clap their hands and thank God? Even if God don't deliver me, I'm still going to stand. Even if God, hallelujah, if he can lay, I'm still going to put that glory. I'm still going to magnify God. I'm going to walk in this job like I got everything I need. I probably don't have everything I need, but I'm going to walk in courage and I'm going to walk in confidence. If I talk with some winning women today, y'all are winners, praise the name of God. When I see my mother, praise the name of God, that's why I always talk about the women. She single-handedly raised three young boys. And hallelujah, they transition to men, praise the name of God. And all three of them are here today in church. So if you train that child up, stand up, my mother children. Stand up, my mother sons. Y'all just stand up so we can see what I'm talking about. This is a product of what, hallelujah, what God can do. This is a product of what a winning women, hallelujah, can do, praise the name of God. And we thank God, hallelujah, for all the winning women. I want you all to know that I want to appreciate you right now. I want to celebrate you. I want to shout it to the mountaintop that you are loved. You are, praise the Lord, value. You add value. You are so special in the body of Christ. Amen. That's the only inspiration I want to give you today because I want you to leave before 12 because y'all got Easter egg hunts and stuff to do. And uh, praise the Lord, got food y'all got cooking. I can smell some of y'all smell like turkey wings now. <laughs> Somebody cooking some greens somewhere. Or some, some string beans. Is that all right? But that's okay. I've been doing some baked chicken so going on somewhere. Praise the Lord. But I thank you so much for what I want to do for Sister Michelle because of what she did 
She was asking, hallelujah, for, uh, I don't know, something. I just know that the Lord said, bring me an offering. Now, I will say this to the women. Listen to this, because you've been operating a principle called favor. God favored you. He, hallelujah, assigned you to be able to birth the child that you birth. You have a decision, tough decisions to make, praise the name of God, but you make a decision to, when they say push, you push, hallelujah. You brought forth, praise the Lord, what God had assigned. That's your assignment. Amen. Well, the Bible says bring your offering. You don't pay no offering. You bring God an offering. Is that all right? Even if there's nothing but a, a, hand, a hand wave. Somebody give God a wave offering. Don't you know this an offering? When you lift up your hands that's hanging down and you strip and you, this is an offering right here to God. And he sees this principle. Just because you get it in what they call obedience. Is that all right? The Bible says in the 15th chapter of the, of, of the book of 1 Samuel in verse 27, that's verse 22. He says, obedience is better than sacrifice. So when you obey God, just bring him an offering. Somebody do this. This is my offering today to God. That's my offering. Is that all right? Now I'm going to give him a small portion of what he gave to me because I work at Publix. I'm a full-time Publix operator. Is that all right? I got to be to work first thing in the morning, 4 o'clock. Just like you got to go, I got to go. Some folks say pastors work. Yes. <laughs> I've been there for almost 15 years. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and now I've been pastoring for five. So I thank God for um, the, the, the obedience. I want you to take an offering that you're going to give to God. I want you to just be a blessing to him uh, today. A small portion of what you give to God, what the Bible declares, that he'll give it back, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over. God will bless you, hallelujah, with just the little hallelujah that you give. Even if it's not going to touch the offering pan, you, you'd be amazed just by touching the offering pan, what it'll do. Praise the Lord. Certain things will fall in your life. Certain things God will bless you and equip you with. So take that offering in your hand, and I'm going to ask you to stand. I got three minutes for 12 o'clock. Somebody call it greens border right now. Oh, somebody say, you better hurry up. My baked beans, I'm trying to get my, uh, my string beans together. Yeah. Amen. So if we pray over the offering, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we love you. We adore you. We give your name and praise. Lord, we ask at this time that small portion of what you've given to us, we give it back to you. God, we ask that you restore to your people a hundredfold. Bless them, Lord, in their life, their health, their strength. Someone came in with high blood pressure, Lord, I want that regulated today in Jesus' name, Lord. Somebody got type 1 diabetes, Lord, and I know that you were able, any blood condition, you can heal. Lord, by your stripes, the Bible declared you was wounded for my transgressions, bruised for my iniquity, the chastisement of my peace, was upon you. With your stripes, we're healed. Lord, I'm asking for you to heal every disease today. We're not going to believe what the doctor reported us. We're going to believe what you say. We shall have favor. And then we're women of purpose. And we are men, hallelujah, of standard. And God, we're going to give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We bring sacrifice and praise into the house of the God. We bring sacrifice. We bring into the house of the Lord as we offer up to you the sacrifices of thanksgiving as we offer up to you the sacrifices of praise. We bring sacrifice, we bring sacrifice of praise.
everybody's guest, you are welcome to say uh, something at this time if you want. Carlos, if we could grab this mic, think of Marcel, one of them. Uh, if you had something you wanted to say, you can, praise the name of God. I just want to say thank you for coming today. We have uh, church every Sunday at 11 o'clock. We have Bible study every Monday night, 7 o'clock. We have prayer meeting, praise the Lord, Friday night, every Friday night. And we have prayer meeting every day at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock prayer is here every single day. And also we have uh, five, uh, 6 o'clock uh, shut-in prayer on Friday night. So, Sister Robinson, you want to say something?
to be here at Jeffrey. Thank, thank God for you. Um, we hope you can come again. Other ranking daughter. You know, we've been praying for your sister. You've been here before. Sing beautifully. I just want to give her a Amen. Praise. Let's go, Lord. I, I would just like to um, thank the Lord for being here today. I want to uh, just thank you for such a beautiful program that my wife and her friends, her co-workers put on with the help of uh, my first lady. It was awesome. And I just want to say I thank God for being here. And uh, the narrator for the narrator. Uh, we we got to have her say something as well. I just thank the Lord for everyone that was here, and I give God the praise and glory for being here. And it was such an honor to get, and I see my neighbor from many, many, many years ago, she's a little girl, she's here. They didn't give her the mic, she might not have wanted to say anything, but I just thank God that you all are here, and I ask, please come back. And make this your church home in the name of Jesus. Thank God that uh, the program was good today. Me and my uh, wife had a great baby. We had to take my mother to the church over there and do it there before we made it. Uh, I thank God this morning. My wife is here. My great baby is here. And uh, I just enjoyed the program. Yeah. Sister Michelle, thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I hope you all have a time today. Everybody keep coming back. And God bless you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you. We just want to ask you if you could stand at this time. We'll dismiss and praise God for more all blessings for all praising all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we leave this place but not your presence. Lord, we ask that your anointing, Lord, destroy every yoke. Lord, we ask that relationships, oh God, be built on your principles. Oh God, bless them, Lord, hallelujah, to have, praise the Lord, a blessing, Lord, and a favor that go in their life, that they can, hallelujah, Lord, in return, give you glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, may his grace, his mercy, his truth abide with us now forever. Let us all say in Jesus' name. Ah. Thank <laughs> you.